Hello everyone, uh, today we'll learn about installing Fedora Core OS um, on an instance with two disks and two interfaces uh, using ISO. So I'm, I'll be using the first disk for uh, OS installation and the second disk for some partition that I'll create for var, var lib docker, var log, etc. So I'm also trying to add some CIS hardening configurations in the ignition file. So uh, let's first look at our ignition file. I mean the the YAML file. All right. So here, at first, I've created two users: core, which is the default user, and ABC user. I've given sudo and docker for ABC user. I've added my personal public key of this PC. All right, so here is the important part. Uh, here I have done, so I have, I'll have two disks, SDA and SDB. So I'm doing in SDB, wipe all the tables and create some essential partitions. So here I've labeled them var, docker, var log, etc. And one for podman as well. Uh, in the file systems, uh, I store them in uh, dev uh, disk by part label docker so it will know that uh, um, this should be mounted to this path. Here are some network manager configuration. Uh, so I have two interfaces I've given 101 on both 10.172.17 and these are some CIS requirements like issue.net MOTD.net uh, don't worry about this I'll I'll, um, I'll post a link to this in the description it should be sc.net right here not MOTD but and some CCTO configurations. Uh, so these are interesting. I so this you read CIS uh, PDF uh, for hardening, but basically these what they are doing is uh, disabling unused file systems. And this from here on they are disabling unused network protocols. These are setting some general permissions on essential files. This one is just remounting dev SHM with no dev, no exec, no SUID. Uh, and this system, the system, the uh, configs will make sure that the paths are remounted on reboot. Like what before, I have uh, for all of them. All right, so we got to see our configuration. So next up is. So FCCT pretty strict. I want save config two dot FCC to ignition dot ICN. So let's let's just uh, see our ignition file. It's in JSON. It's just transpiling from YAML to JSON because YAML is easy to write and JSON is easy to read for the machines. So yeah, so they are populated. And no further thing to look because uh, if there was any error in the FCC file, the FCC T would have uh, notified us. So uh, I'm using uh, KVM virtual machine, but you can use um, you can use the same configuration in bare metal. Uh, I've I've tested that myself. All right, let's see what's what do we have. So we have a CD ROM, a TAS that's the ISO file. Uh, ISO, disk one, disk two, SDA, SDB respectively, two network interface cards. Uh, uh, so I have also added these MAC addresses in the config file. If you noticed, uh, yeah. So in here, you can see uh, I have added this. All right. So what we want to do is first we boot from the ISO 
and then we see what will happen so I have already booted from the ISO um, I have also given it no I haven't so that's nice so what I'll do is give it a temporary address 10.0.0.10 so that I can host an HTTP server for the ignition file and I can download it from curl alright so so this is just connection modification I've taken um, I've done the AWK for a second and then um, that UUID will get this IP address this is uh, not so important this is network manager configuration uh, let me first um, host the file so with simple HTTP server uh, module sorry module HTTP dot server I want it on 8080 awesome let's see let's see if all right uh, it's working now next thing to do is download that ignition file but before I do that I want to show you that I have two SDA and SDB both are empty at the moment but the configuration will work if the SDB is full as well because I have given wipe table uh, to true so it will wipe all the partitions on SDB and then create the partitions like var, var log, var lib docker etc so let's download our ignition file so what I'll do is I'll curl 10.0.0.1 notice that we used localhost but we're using one because the bridge has the 10.0.0.1 which is the same as localhost from the host perspective but uh, I've given this instance 10.0.0.10 um, so it's uh, it will get the configuration so the file name is ignition.ign oh all right, let me see all right now it should work now all right it should work now so what we want to do is save this to a file I'm gonna call it ignition.igm now the file is saved so uh, so now we do core OS installer install we want to install the OS in SDA and the remaining parts in SDB which will be handled by ignition so we will give it ignition file is dot slash ignition dot IGN so uh, th th that's the file that we just curl and saved it to that file so so now it will read the disk uh, mm, install the OS in RAM and then we'll have to reboot it to mm, to SDA right, guys I'll pause the video and come back in the installation on the RAM is complete so let's see what changed so it has created uh, four partitions for OS installation it hasn't touched SDB well because the ignition configuration will only be applied once we do the first boot so that's what we we're gonna do now so let me shut it down let me change the uh, so we are going IDE disk one is SDA so we are gonna boot into that disk so all right so uh, it it should take 10 minutes for first boot um, I'll once it uh, once the installation gets going I'll pause the video and uh, start it again all right guys uh, the installation is almost finished a couple of seconds all right so you can see from the ignition file the 10.0.0.101 and 172.170.101 is applied so let's check if our SSS keys was, were installed so SSS ABC user 10.0.0.101 all right all right we're in so you can see right off the bat that issue.net and uh, MOTD were populated and you can see the warning labels in there let me clear the screen let's check the partition so all right awesome 
so you can see var var lib docker var log var temp all of these partitions were created as well as mounted all right let's see what other configs we did all right this one got added this got applied 101 101 got applied ec.net got applied this all of this got applied let's just check one of the files so the good thing about uh, ignition is that oh, it's i think it's rebooting because of the update in the os yeah so the good thing of ignition is we don't have to check i'm checking it anyways but we don't have to check because if one configuration is if even a single configuration is not applied ignition uh, does not let the installation complete so unlike uh, cloud in it like in cloud in it you can have like uh, certain configuration not applied but the installation completes nonetheless but it's not the case with ignition ignition makes your that uh, all the configuration are applied all right so all of these were applied mm -hmm. uh, let me quickly check if like this work on reboot because uh, we created the system D uh, ser mount services and let's see if those are working for us it's rebooting and the rebooting is pretty quick only the first boot is uh, relatively um, time consuming but not compared to other OS's so we reboot it pretty quick and the warning messages are still there and the m m partitions are still there so alright so see you next time I hope you learned something from this video bye